Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are all doing well and having a fantastic day so far. I am praying for you. I love you guys and I miss you and I hope you are all doing well. I know some of you guys might be looking forward to a certain day in May uh, when the fishing opener opens. So today, uh, your memory verse of the day is going to be for those fishers out there. So let's get into this. D-I-S-C episode six, dive into scripture challenge. D-I-S-C episode six, dive into scripture challenge. <laughs> Here we go. Matthew 4, 19. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. Well, who can tell me what this symbol is? Anybody? Yes, yes, it is a fish, <laughs> but in the Christian world, it is often referred to as the Jesus fish. No, it's a symbol that most likely originated during Jesus' time. It was a symbol that was used within the early Christian church, not only for authenticity to show who you belong to, but also for protection, because in that time there was a lot of persecution for following Jesus Christ, because you were supposed to be following the Roman and the Greek gods. And this led to them often having to meet in secret, having secret churches, kind of like what we're doing now, where we're meeting uh, from church on a regular basis. Oftentimes they would draw uh, in the sand with their foot half of the fish and they knew they were safe, and they were talking to a person that also loved Jesus if that other person completed uh, the fish. You know, these are all things that, that, I, that I've heard about uh, that I think are kind of cool, but it helps us understand the Jesus fish a little bit more. Well, you see, in this time, and this takes the meaning a little bit deeper, in this time, the Greek word for fish was ichthys. Ichthys, and it's here in the Greek word for fish that early Christians found their identity. No, I'm not saying that we find our identity in being a fish or being fishers. It's not in the fish, but it was in the acronym for the, for the fish word ichthys, where they found their identity. You see, as we take that word apart, ichthys, we have I, Iosis, C-H, Christos, T-H, Theos, Y, Heos, S, Soter. And if we come up with the English equivalent to these letters that spell out the fish Greek word ichthys, we get Jesus, Christ, God, Son, Savior. So the origin and the meaning of the Jesus fish, the ichthys fish, is Jesus Christ, God's Son, is Savior. And this was something that they would write upon their heart. This was something they would use now to protect themselves, like I said, but also to identify who they were. And this is why you see so many cars driving around, and people wearing necklaces with a fish on it, and maybe they don't know what it's about, and now you can tell them, Jesus Christ, God's Son, is Savior. Ichthys. You know what? Maybe you didn't come in today realizing the significance of fishing within God's plan. But we are called to fish for people, to go out, to deliver God's world, and hopefully bring people home to Christ, to land as many fish as possible. So let's say that verse one more time together as we were get memorizing all these different scriptures. Matthew 4, 19. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. One more time. Matthew 4, 19. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. Well, I hope you found that as interesting as I did. I love finding out these interesting little facts and be able to share some of them with you. Um, you know what? Maybe it's made up. 
but you know, I I believe that this is truth. I believe that this is what early Christians had to go to, that they had to um, meet in secret because they were fearful of what uh, of what persecutors were going to do to them. And you know what? Today we have an opportunity to live for Christ. And you know, you may be stuck at home right now, but figure out ways today that you can take every opportunity to be a fisher of men. Maybe it's just a fisher to your family right now. And you figure out ways that you can speak Christ into their life. And maybe if you have other friends out there that that don't know who Jesus is, figure out how you can become a fisher in their life. So let me pray for you. God, thank you for today. Thank you for another chance to meet together to dive into your word, to come to maybe a better understanding or just an understanding at all of who you are. And God, I pray that you'd help each of us who call you by name to stand for you. Father God, to share your truth with this world. Father God, that we would each become fishers of men. So God, thank you for this day. We give it to your name. We pray. Amen. Time to go. Have a great day, you guys.